everybody. Uh, so today we've got the infamous Dollar Bridge. Yes, old school creator expert. Uh, very fun set. Uh, brings back memories. Um, this almost got me divorced back in the day. Oh yes, it did. We were uh, quick story. Me and the wifey were at the mall. Uh, at Legoland you, with your parents. Your parents. My parents were visiting. Yep. Yeah. And you went to Legoland with my little brother, who yeah, at the yeah. time was like 11. Yeah, so... And my 11-year-old brother convinced my husband to buy a $500 Lego set. Well, and um, go ahead and go from me, there, honey. He kind of gave me the inspiration uh, to buy it, because I never, you know, this was, uh, what, 10? No, not 10. Seven, six, seven years ago? No. It got paralyzed. It's like 12 years ago. Well, we moved out here in 08, so it had to be what? 10 or 11? 2010, 2010, 2011. So about yeah, years. Lawrence was about 13. Yeah, so yeah. about 10 years ago. And uh, I, I always loved Legos as a kid. And then, you know, so we went to Legoland store and I was checking it out with him because they had to make sure I wasn't going to steal children. So I had to go in there with the kid. And, um, <laughs> when we came out, you know, I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I've never seen like Legos like that. You know, they didn't have them like that when I was a kid. And so I instantly didn't even think about it and bought it like 450 bucks or whatever it was for. No, it was 499 I think. Right? It was it was close to $500 and our rent at the time was like $600. No, it wasn't. Our mortgage was about a grand. We didn't have a mortgage yet. Yeah, we did. We were in Shomar. We moved here. We bought the house. We, no. We were in Shomar. Oh, was it here? Yeah. So it was oh, yeah, Texas. it was here. It, it was, was in Grapevine. Grape You're right. Yeah, so our mortgage was about a grand. So it was about like half of what our mortgage was. And I thought she was going to be really impressed when she was like, well, what's in the bag? And I showed her. He was all excited yeah. and like wanted to show me this amazing thing yeah, he bought. And then, and then she was And like, I was like, oh, that's nice. How much was it? And he goes, $500. And I was like, go return it to the store right now, right now. And then, and then she was like, also, where are you going to put that, you idiot? And I thought I would have room. You know, I was like, oh, it doesn't look that big, you know, on the box. But as you can see, it is quite a beastly set. Um, I got this from Lloyd, uh, your world of building bricks. I want to say it was about a hundred bucks. Uh, yes, you get a little mini Decker. Uh, you get some little cars with it. A not little much. cop car or something down there too. I think it's supposed to be a cop car because of the yellow brick on top. I don't know. Um, there's not really any functionality with this set per se. Functionality. Other than other than that, this goes up and down, but that but you have to physically move it. Oh well, yeah, there's no like me yeah. mechanics. But yeah, yeah, there's nothing mechanical. There's no tricks, as they say. It's just a um, pretty architectural piece. Yeah, I mean it's a world famous landmark. Um, you know that's how was the build? Uh, not bad. Uh, it's a little over four thousand pieces, almost four thousand pieces, or a little over, but. They didn't do bag number bags back then, so fun, fun, fun. I, it's why I have four billion Tupperware containers back here. Because um, they didn't number ship back then. You just had to sort everything. And um, how much was this one? Um, I want to say it was about a, 105, 106, and then there was shipping. It came out the I want to say it was like 120 one, ish with yeah. shipping and all. Um, so Compared bad. to the 500 with like a. <laughs> Actually, on a fun note, at the Bricks and Minifig store near our house, they had a used one of these in a box for uh, $380. A used Lego one. A used, yeah, well, the real Lego, not boot Lego, but yes, real standard Lego uh, mm -hmm. for $380. $3 and that was a used set. So, yeah. Um, so, But it's really pretty, and the colors yeah. are amazing. Um, yeah, I really like the brown. The aesthetics the are really nice. It's a pretty set considering when it came out. Um, you know, obviously it's not as architecturally vibrant as like a lot of the newer modulars and stuff like that. But you guys got to remember this set came out like 10, 11 years ago. Anything else you'd like to say about it, honey? No, it's a, it's a cool build. Um, it's going to be a bitch to move. Can't wait to try to get that. But it top. does break into sections, right? You yes. said? Yeah, these unclip. Your suspension lines can unclip. 
and these end two pieces just pop on and off with a couple Technic pins. Uh, so you can break it into this piece, that piece with the suspensions, and then all you have left to keep together is this middle tower part. Uh, that does not unclip. Um, so that you got to keep together. Um, well, technically, these two, this bottom piece can unclip out of here, but these are built into the towers. So you can't do anything with this, so you may as well leave that together and just lift it as one. Yeah. Um, it's just a little unruly to handle as all together. Well, I don't know if you could do it all together. I mean, you'd have to have at least another pair of hands. There's no way you could support it. Or if you put it on a piece of wood that big, um, that would be way, way heavy. And we think straight. it's going to be housed up there somewhere. Well, it's got to. It ain't going to fit anywhere else. It's got to go up top. So. Yeah. Okay. We're at six um, minutes. So. All right. So all right, well, we're going to cut this off because we're hitting the six minute mark and Reddit doesn't like videos that long. All right. So uh, everybody take care and we'll be back next with the Sydney Opera House at some point. Yep. That's what he's building now. Yep. Uh, she can show you a little preview of half of it down there. That's half the Opera House back app. So. <laughs> all right. Anyways, take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.